Hi everyone, Kate is here and welcome back to the Crocoblock channel. Jet Engine 2.11 has just been released and as always I would like to go over this new update which is by the way totally dedicated to relations functionality. But before we go any further, I'd suggest you subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on the new interesting tutorials, overview videos and live broadcasts. So if you haven't done this yet, right now is your finest hour to click on that red button below, okay? So the first thing that I want to mention is that relations functionality has been completely rewritten from scratch. And this decision had to be taken because there were some limitations in the old plugin code that didn't quite allow us to add some new features. And as for me, I think that this is a great decision because right now both relations, the old ones and the new ones, work somewhat in parallel, which is great for those of you who feel comfortable with the old relations and are not ready yet to move on with the update. But guys, I would totally recommend you to at least install Jet Engine 2.11 onto your staging website just to give yourself a chance to check out its cool benefits, right? And as for those of you who really waited for this update, uh, I can assure you that there is an opportunity to convert your old relations into the new ones if you'd like. And you can do it by clicking on the convert into the new format button, which will automatically transfer all of your posts. Just keep in mind that you will have to change the macros for relations used manually, okay? Since the new relations code has been refactored, the logic and the way it works also changed drastically. So basically right now, all relations you create on your website are stored in a separate database table. And you can even create individual database tables for each and every relation if needed, which means that right now they are no longer attached to the post meta, which in return opens new opportunities for creating mixed relation types, like relating different types of data in the WordPress, such as custom post types, custom content types, taxonomies, WordPress users, isn't that great? So yeah, right now you have an opportunity to relate not just posts with each other, but let's say CPTs and WordPress users or CCTs and taxonomies and so on. So for example, you can have a CPT with tours available in different countries and WordPress users as travel agents that organize these tours. You can set a relation for these objects, assign child posts with tours to each of the agents, create a query for this relation, design a nice looking listing item with both tour and the agent who provides it, and then display them all together in a listing grid on the front end. As we all know, new features, more settings. Good and bad at the same time. Good to have more opportunities, bad to figure out how all these new options work. Guys, don't worry, I promise you that these ones are pretty comprehensive and not too hard to get along. So as we can see, the changes in the settings are pretty obvious. The whole two more sections, one for labels and another one for meta fields have been added to relations, as well as general settings section has also been updated with a couple of new options. Allow to create new children from parent and allow to create new parents from children basically speak for themselves. They give you an opportunity to create either child or parent items from the related object editing area. I'll show it to you once we get to the UI changes part. 
and a register separate DB table will create a new individual database table for this particular relation, which is extremely useful if you plan on creating multiple relations with a big amount of items in it. So basically it will help you to optimize the performance and save time. The Labels section allows you to customize and assign your own labels for controls, buttons, and boxes in the Relations editing area. You can either leave these ones blank and the default labels will be used, or you can enter your own personalized labels if you like, and they will be applied once the relation is updated. As for the meta fields, this is amazing, guys. Yes, from now on you have the possibility of adding meta fields for relations too. It works just the same way as meta fields for posts, meta boxes, or taxonomies. The only thing is that the list of available field types is a bit limited as of now. You are free to choose between 9 field types – text, date, time, date time, text area, checkbox, media, radio, and select. So let's create a meta field for the tour dates and update this relation. Love this question almost as much as the new user interface. No, seriously guys, Remember we used to have that tiny little block for related items on the right hand side panel where we had to manually enter the three or more characters of the related items title? Forget about it. Right now we've added the brand new relations box straight into the editing area and now we can not only connect relations with each other but also edit them which I think is super cool. So here we see our custom label for the child object relation box. Since we've toggled allow to create new parents from children option on here we see add new user button. Basically, it will create a new WordPress user and assign it to this child tour item. Connect user button stands for connecting existing WordPress users to related posts. And here there's basically no need to enter three or more characters. You can simply select a correlated item from the list. Just a couple of clicks and you're done. Here you can edit the metadata. So here's our meta field for tour dates. There we go, save the changes. And over here is the column for actions, where you can either edit related users info, it will open the page in the new tab. view it on the front end if a single page for the user is available or disconnect this user. And if, for example, we check out the relation box in the WordPress users editing area, we'll see that we also have a possibility to even delete the item if necessary. Just keep in mind that this option will completely remove the post in this case from the website and it is only available for the users with appropriate permissions. Guys, once all of your related items are set up and connected, you need to query them with the help of Jet Engine Query Builder feature. And for this purpose, we've got a couple of macros that will help you to narrow down your requests and to display the information required information in the best way possible. And I will share a link to a detailed article on the topic of macros for relations in WordPress right in the description below. So please feel free to invest a little bit of your time into reading it just to get a better understanding on how to use these macros, okay? In my case, I will create tours by agents query now. In the query type, I'll select post query. 
In the general tab, I'll choose tour post type and proceed to post and page tab to apply dynamic macro. My idea is to query the tours of agents because one agent can provide multiple tours to various countries on different dates and then display them in a listing grid on the single page of each tour. So for that purpose, we'll need to pick the related siblings macro. In the from relation field, we need to select users to tours relation. In the from object field, we'll have to pick child object because tours are children of agents. And we'll have to get the initial object ID from current object ID. Now we can apply the changes and save the query. We can proceed with creating listing item. To save your time, I'll use one of the existing listings, listing tours. Here, we already have the information on the post itself and now I'd like to add information on the tour agent. First, let's search for dynamic image widget and place it into the left-hand column. In the source, choose mini photo meta field from the user meta box. And as for the second column, here I'll go for the heading widget first, enter tour agent as the title, go to advanced settings and change the positioning with to inline auto. Now search for the dynamic field widget and place it right under the heading. Here in the source we'll need to leave post term user object data and select display name for the object field. Then go to positioning one more time and change the width to inline auto as well. Good. Now we can duplicate heading and change the title to Tour Dates and then duplicate Dynamic Field Widget and change the source to Relation Metadata and pick Tour Dates Meta Field, the one we created for our relation earlier. OK. Don't forget to save the changes and proceed with the single page template. Go back to the dashboard, Crocoblock, Theme Builder, and open Single Tour Template with Elementor. Here at the bottom of the page, I would like to place a listing grid with related posts. So let's search for the listing grid widget and drop it right under the text. In the listing, enter the name of the item. Good. Right now it displays all of the tours, but I wanted to show only the tours organized by the same agent as the one shown on the single page. In order to do that, we need to open Custom Query tab and enable Use Custom Query Toggle. After that, select the query Tours by Agents. OK, great! Let's update the template and proceed to the front end to see how it works. Okay, so here is a single page of the wonderful USA tour. It is related to Kate Croco agent. So let's scroll way down to see its related siblings, other tours provided by the same agent. There we go. Looks pretty nice. Yes, guys, new relations functionality is compatible with JetSmart Filters plugin. You can filter listings with child items by parent item IDs and vice versa. The only thing that you need to keep in mind to use proper relations query variables that can be found at the bottom of the filter editing page. For example, I want to filter tours by countries. For this, I need to create a new filter, country filter, 
Pick the filter type, I'll choose Select. Choose Data Source, Posts. Post type, Country. And in the query settings, I'll use related children 9 query variable. This way, it will filter the children items by parents' IDs according to the country to tours relation. Now, let's proceed to the page with filters and open it with Elementor. Search for Select Filter Widget and drop it onto the canvas. Specify Country Filter in the settings. Select Jet Engine under Use this Filter for option. Apply on, let's make it click on Apply button. Toggle Show Apply button on. Set button text to Search. And enter Query ID for the listing. Update the changes and check out the front end. OK, let's say we want to travel to Poland. Let's select it. There we go. Here is the list of all available tours to Poland. OK, and maybe we just changed our mind and decided to visit Italy, for example. Great! A couple of tours to Italy are also available. So basically, new relations are compatible with all types of filters. The only exception is indexer filter for CCTs. Unfortunately, as of now, CCT item listings cannot be indexed properly by their related items. So please keep that in mind. And anyways, I will share a link to another really useful and interesting article on how to filter related items right in the description below, so please feel free to check this one out as well. So as you already know, relations functionality allows you to set relations right inside the desired post, but there is actually a possibility to simplify this process by creating forms that will help you to update relations straight away from the front end. We'll make a detailed video on this topic very soon. And meanwhile, I'd suggest you reading another article on the topic on how to connect related items using Jet Engine Forms. I know the changes in relations are quite significant, but I'm sure that you will get along with it, figure it out, and it will help you to save lots of your time in the future. I hope you liked this video, and if so, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!